Democracy Day address. All the local government that were taken over by the Boko Haram insurgents in Boronu, Yobe and Adamawa have long been recovered and are now occupied by indigents of this area who were hitherto to, forced to seek a living in areas far from their ancestral home. The 2020 celebration of Democracy Day marks 21 years of uninterrupted civil administration in our dear country. This day provides us an opportunity to reflect on our journey as a nation, our achievements and struggles. It is a day to honor our founding fathers who toyed to establish our republic and establish Nigeria, who has worked tirelessly to sustain it. We are celebrating this year's Democracy Day, despite the COVID-19 pandemic which afflicts our nation and the whole world. It is indeed a very difficult time for everyone, especially those who have lost their loved ones to the virus and those whose source of livelihood have been severely constrained by the strained measure we introduced at every level of government to contain the virus and save lives. The dedication of our health and other essential service staff towards containing this virus is a testament of our courage and resilience as a people and as a great nation and i use this opportunity to say thank you to all of you for your service to the nation sustaining our democracy thus has been a collective struggle and i congratulate all nigerians and particularly leaders of our democratic institution on their resilience and determination to ensure that Nigeria remains a shining example of all. <laughs> shining example in what aspect? Nigeria is a shining example in what aspect? Oh, I'm asking. Hmm. In my 2019 Democracy Day address, I promised to frontally address nations dotting challenge, especially in security economy and corruption i therefore find it necessary to give an account of my stewardship on this we have recorded notable achievement in the course of implementing our nine priority objective and are establishing a solid foundation for future success on the economic front our objective has remained to stabilize the macroeconomy, achieve agricultural and food security, ensure energy sufficiency in power and petroleum product, develop infrastructure, fight corruption, and improve governance. So, above all mentioned, what and what has been achieved? What and what have been achieved, I'm asking. How far has Nigeria gone in providing infrastructure? How far have they gone in ensuring energy sufficiency? How far? We had witnessed 11 quarters of consecutive GDP growth since the existing recession. The GDP grew from 1.91% in 2018 to 2.27% 2 in 2019, but declined to 1.87% in the first quarter of 2020 as a result of the decline in the global economic activities due to COVID-19 pandemic. Every single economy in the world has suffered a decline. Ours has been relatively moderate. In order to stabilize the economy, the Monetary Authority took steps to build the external reservoirs, which resulted in improved liquidity in the foreign exchange market. The external reserves grew from 33.42 billion dollars in 
on April 2019, on April 29, 2020, about 36 point, about $36 billion dollars in May 2020, which is enough to finance seven months of import commitment. Agriculture remains the key to our economic diversification strategy. The Presidential Fertilizer Initiative Program continues to deliver significant quantity of affordable and high-quality fertilizers to our farmers. This initiative has been revived 31 blending plant and created a significant number of direct and indirect jobs across the value chain. Mm. Government is also ramping the cotton textile, but this is not what I want to be hearing. The way it is happening already, what I should be hearing already is the how far they have gone in securing lives and properties of innocent citizens that are dying day and night in this country. This uh, agriculture, whatever, GTB, GDB, whatever, should come last. I think the first thing that should come first is the security. Because where there is life, there is hope. And whereas people are losing their life, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, let me continue reading to know if we will touch that one. Through the Food Security Initiative, we are promoting grow what we eat and eat what we grow. I am also delighted that more and more Nigerians are taking advantage of the opportunities in the agriculture and agri-business sector. I assure you that government will continue to support the agriculture sector through the CBN Anchor Borua program and similar schemes. To protect our farming investment, we have deployed 5,000 agro-rangers and deployed 30,289 in our paramilitary agencies. We are also integra integrating rural communities to the former economy by extending access to credit and input to rural farmers and building federal feeder roads. Our efforts on growing non-oil exports have started to yield some results. For instance, in the past year, our revenue from cocoa and sima and seed increased by $79.4 million and $153 million. Africa, Africa presents a huge opportunity for our export-based diversification and we are developing our strategy to grow intra-Africa trade through the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Nigeria has risen by 25 places on the World Bank's, S Bank's ease of doing business ranking from 146th to 131st and is now rated as one of the top 10 reforming countries. I, I am still waiting to hear where you will address the problems, the security problems, the unemployment, the, 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 the lack in the, in the, in the uh, 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 electricity supply. These are the major problems we are having here. I'm still waiting for where you will address them. And not all these things are anywhere. Let me continue. This development is due to the visa on arrival policy, constrained promotion of initiatives that expand facilities available to micro, small, and medium scale enterprises, robust electronic registration and payment system. Seamless processing of business registration and reduction of cost of registration of registering business by 50%. We are confident that ongoing effort we would result in rather improvement of this rating. Abio, we remain committed to expanding our mining sector to this end. 
I have directed the reconstruction of the Ajokuta steel plant based on government-to-government financing and the public-private sector financing with foreign and domestic investment and the participation of small-scale miners, we are harnessing the supply value chain in gold production. We would also be launching a fully digitalized mineral rights management platform for quick processing of mineral rights application, digitalization of record and plug-in revenue leakages. The power sector remains very critical to meeting our industrial development aspiration and we are tackling the challenges that still exist in the delivery of power through the different strategies. Hmm. We are executing some, crit- some critical projects through the transmission, rehabilitation and expansion program including the A, Allogy to Allogy to Onicha, Delta Power Station to Benin and Kaduna to Kanu. B, 330 kV DC, 62 km line between Birinin Kebi and uh, Birin Kebi and uh, Kamba. C, Lagos slash Ogun transmission infrastructure project d abuja transmission ring scheme and e northern corridor transmission project our agreement with siemens will transmit and distribute a total of 11000 megawatt by 2023 to serve our electricity needs mm. on transportation Another critical sector to improving our economic competitiveness, com- our economic competitiveness, we are growing the stock and quality of our road, really air and water transportation infrastructure through the Sukut founded road project, a total of 412 kilometers of the targeted 643 kilometer road project have been completed, presenting 64%. The Presidential Infrastructure Development Fund project are also progressing very well on the second Niger Bridge. Peeling work has been completed and the approach road are being constructed. 48% of work on this bridge has been achieved. We have constructed 102 km of the 376 km Abuja Kaduna Kanu Road, representing 38%, and the 42.9 km Obajana Kaba Road is 87.03% complete. This is not what I'm expecting to hear. Oh, this is not what I'm expecting to hear. So after all this killing and all these things that is happening for a long time here, I've not heard anything about how security conscious or how security active that that the, 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 the country is at the moment. I've not heard though. Hmm, let me still continue reading. Maybe at the end I'll hear it. Furthermore, the Federal Road Maintenance Agency has completed routine maintenance on over 4,000 km of federal road out of 5,000 km targeted. We are extending and upgrading our railway network too. We are introducing more locomotive coaches and wagons for the Abuja Kaduna Railway line. The Central Ajokuta Ekpaja Worry Line has been completed and is being extended from Itekpa to Abuja on one end and from Wari Town to Wari Port on the other. The Lagos Ibadan rail, rail Line is 90% completed and would be extended to the Lagos Port, which would help address the long standing gridlock at the Apapa Port. 
the Kanu Maradi Single Track Standard Kaj Railway, Costa Railway Project, and Port Haikot Medugri Standard Gagu Railway, with its associated branch line running through the southeast and Gombe states, Industrial Park and Bonny Deep Sea Port are all ready for consigning. Oh God, what is going on? What is going on? Oh, hmm. okay, well, let me continue. Government continues to make investment in the aviation sector to position it as a travel as a travel and trade hub in West Africa and the wider African continent. Airport terminals in Abuja, Lagos, Kanu and Pothaikarot are being expanded while the rehabilitation of the Enugu airport is almost completed. All our airports are being raised to international standard with the provision of necessary equipment, especially navigational aids to guarantee world-class safety standard. For the first time in over 10 years, Nigeria is conducting bidding process for 57 marginal oil fields to increase revenue and increase the participation of Nigerian companies in oil and exploration and production business. We continue to grow local content in other areas of the oil and gas sector with the disbursement of fund from the $200 million Nigerian Content Intervention Fund to Indigenous Manufacturers and Service Providers. With sustained engagement of youth, opinion leaders, and other stakeholders, we have resorted peace in the Niger Delta region and maintained our oil production what is going on? Eh? Is this the, 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 the insurgents we are talking about? The dying of people here and there. Is this what we are talking about? Niger Delta, uh, region, whatever that have been settled long ago. What about people that are dying now? We are talking about the recent happening. Things that happened this week from, from let me say, in fact, from 1st June. 2020 till date that is 12th June. Things that has been happening, all the insurgents, both the 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 Boronu, Castina, uh, Taraba uh, attacks. Eh? Anyway, let me continue leading. The head office of the Niger Delta Development Commission will be commissioned shortly. The funding of section. One of five of the east-west road shall be pursued with a view to completing the project by the end of 2021. Furthermore, I am determined to ensure that development meant for the people of the Niger Delta gets to them, so I have authorized a forsenic adult audit of the Niger Delta Development Commission. Digital economy continues to play an important role in our development agenda as we move into the age of artificial intelligence. Since the creation of the Ministry of Communication and Digital Economy, the National Digital Economy Policy and Strategy has been launched. Steps have been taken to achieve a reduction of cognitivity cluster gap from 207 to 114, as well as increase the level of 4G coverage by 30%. Okay. Nigeria remains committed to expanding access to quality education and the enhanced productivity of each citizen and would continue to pursue the enforcement of free and compulsory basic education for the first nine years of schooling. In pursuit of this, we have launched the Better Education Service Delivery for all in 17 states, 
established additional six federal science and technology colleges, and currently executing a proactive teacher's training plan with all states of the Federation. In our revision of the operation of specialization, specialized education fund and to implement reforms that would optimize the benefit to the sector, we have adopted a public-private sector partnership for provision of infrastructure and also collaborate with the private sector to create jobs. So how far now? Where are the jobs? Where are the jobs? In fact, I just read the 46th point that uh, the Mr. President uh, addressed today. So I have not heard any congent a, 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 a thing concerning the insecurity that is prevailing in the country at the moment. I cannot, anyway, I can go all along and continue uh, with this, but uh, I think I can call it short here. So far, we, we have heard what Mr. President, his address to the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mm, maybe you have something to say about this. I will skip some of the points to know if we can get to where he addressed the security problem. Okay. Point 52, he said, in the area of security, we remain unshaken in our resolve to protect our national infrastructure, including onshore and offshore oil installation secure our territorial water and end piracy in the gulf of guinea ending insurgence banditry and other forms of criminal criminality across the nation is being accorded appropriate priorities and the men and women of the armed forces of nigeria have considerably downgraded such threat across all geopolitical zones. I, I have not witnessed such. Because the way, thi the, the way things are happening now, the way people are dying and the way people are complaining, look at, it was so fierce that the, 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 the Castina youth have to burn down the billboard containing the governor uh, of uh, uh, Castina State's picture and that of the president of the country. Does it show that uh, appropriate priority has been ensured to their security? Does that show it? Hmm. All the local government that we are taken over by the Boko Haram insurgents in Burunu, Yebe and Adamawa have long been recovered and are now occupied by indigents of this area who we are heated to, forced to seek a living in areas far from their ancestral home. Hmm. Okay, well we're done. I say we're well done. I, I can see how secured and uh, how active the security arms are. Well, let's stop for here. Please, you can drop your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and uh, please do subscribe to our channel for more updates. Bye for now.